start. It is awesome to s I was going to say it's awesome to see you. I don't see you. You see me. But um, it's awesome to connect with you. I miss everybody so much. Um, I miss worshiping with you. I miss doing ministry with you. I miss connecting with you, seeing you, uh, just doing life with you. Cannot wait to get back to normal and see everybody. But in the meantime, I'm grateful for technology because it allows us to, you know, stay connected and continue the work of the church and the ministry of the church. And it really is a blessing. Um, so I wanted to take advantage of it and make this video for a couple reasons. Uh, one, I want to introduce myself to you. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Pam Cobb. I am the ministry team leader for the New Start Coaching Network Faith Coaching Ministry. Um, I've been working with David Mabry and my leadership team to develop this ministry and wanted to kind of, one, tell you what the heck it is because I'm sure a lot of you are going, what's faith coaching? Um, also kind of wanted to just give you an update on what to look for and what to expect moving forward. So faith coaching, it's similar, you've heard of uh, life coaching, right? That's kind of trendy right now, um, especially if you follow social media. There's a bunch of life coaches that pop up in your feed probably, or on Instagram. There's a lot of uh, health and fitness coaches, uh, relationship coaches. Businesses have been using coaching forever, you know, executive coaching and leadership coaching, that kind of thing. Faith coaching is similar, um, but it takes into account the fact that we are followers of Christ and that everything that we do, we do from a faith perspective, right? As followers of Christ, you know, honoring that God has created us for a specific purpose and that things that we encounter in our lives and how we move forward in our lives um, need to be in line with the purpose for which we were created, right? So I like to think of it as kind of moving from point A to point B in a way that glorifies God, in a way that honors who God created you to be, and in a way that allows you to live out the purpose for which God created you. And so it's really good for people who maybe feel stuck and need to move forward. Um, a faith coach will meet with you and they will help you um, and discern what it is that God wants from you in a specific season in your life and basically help you get unstuck, right? They're not gonna tell you what to do. Faith coaches know that God has put things inside of you. They're just gonna help you draw out what God has already placed inside of you. Um, but it's great because they'll meet with you regularly. They will give you some accountability, help you put a plan together. Um, you know, to identify things like energy drains or, um, you know, help you set some goals or just kind of discern, you know, what you're passionate about or what your skills are or, um, you know, what, what are your dreams? What are your goals? What, what are the things that you really feel like God is putting on your heart to experience more of in whatever situation you're in? So, you know, the coaches will have different niches or niches, if you want to say it that way. Um, so they're all going to have some experience in what you're going through, but they're going to honor that this experience is uniquely yours. Like I said, they're not going to tell you what to do. They're just going to draw out of you um, what God has already placed inside of you so that when you get to the other side of whatever the circumstance you're in, you are going to look back on it and say, wow, I, you know, I really feel like I went through that in, in a way that honored God and in a way that um, really honored what God would have me do in that situation. So some examples might be like, I will be, you know, some of my niches, I'll be working with stay at home moms, you know, how do you find purpose in being a stay at home mom? Or I'll also be working with women who are transitioning into the empty nest, right? You've gone from being a full time mom. What does God want for you now? in this next season of your life and how do we walk through that process um we're gonna have uh like health and fitness weight loss coaches um we'll have 
people, you know, like maybe you're just sitting there and you're saying to yourself, I just really want to serve God. I want to do more of that in my life, but I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what God wants for me. A faith coach will be able to sit down with you and work with you to help you discern that. Okay, so I'm super excited about the ministry. I think it's going to be great. We need help. Um, if I'm being honest, and I'm going to do a quick shameless plug uh, for the ministry and ask for some help. I would love to have more people come on board. Um, if you think you are at all interested in maybe going through the training, because the faith coaches are going to be trained. They're going to be trained in um, active listening skills and life purpose discovery work and that kind of thing. Uh, let me know. I would love to have you on board. Um, my church email is prcnewstart at gmail.com and uh, you can also message me on Facebook if you're interested in being more involved in the ministry. But uh, other things that hopefully we're going to be doing, and these are just things that are kind of we're talking about kicking around, maybe doing some workshops. Um, the one thing we have been doing is uh, the leaders life purpose um, I don't know what to call it it's not I guess I guess I call it a life group or discussion group is probably you know more appropriate where we've been working with people through um, life like a life purpose discovery class and unfortunately that got interrupted with the whole COVID thing but um, We'll be picking that up again here soon, I hope, and we'll be continuing that in the future. Um, and so those are just some of the ideas and some of the things that we've got going on. And again, it's awesome and it's exciting and I can't wait uh, to see where the Lord leads all of us in that ministry. Uh, I also, in talking to David, kind of feel like because of everything that we're going through right now, this is an excellent opportunity to get some coaching content out there. And so I will be creating more videos moving forward that are designed to kind of just give you some coaching concepts to think about as we're going through this. Because I would say all of us right now feel stuck in some way. Um, we're stuck because we don't know really what the future looks like. We don't know, you know, what... I mean, what does God want us to do with this, right? How are we going to move forward in this? And so hopefully we'll be able to kind of issue some challenges, give you some things to think about so that when you get to the other side, you're able to look back and say, yeah, I really grew in my faith through that season or God really prepared me for something in that season. And so I want to be able to give you some tools that will help you um, kind of work through that process a little bit. Uh, so I'm excited about future videos. Um, and I kind of wanted to close this one with a little bit of a challenge for you. Okay. I know, if, and I'll just be honest, th this is hard for me. It's been hard for me. Um, I had some big plans. I thought God and I had some big plans, right? And um, it felt like in the beginning that those plans were messed up. And I have since realized that, you know, God's purpose for my life and God's purpose for your life has not changed. You know, God's not up there going, you know, yeah, we had plans. I had a plan for you, but I didn't see this coming. He, you know, he knew. He knew this was coming. It hasn't changed the plan he has for you. It hasn't changed the plan he has for me. It just means that there's something right now in this season that he can do for you and that he can do for me in our lives that will prepare us as we move forward. Um, so I would just challenge you to ask maybe some hard questions. God, how do you want to grow me in this season? What do you want to show me? in this season? What do you want from me in this season? What are, maybe there are some things in my life that I've been holding on to too tightly that I need to let go. Maybe there's opportunity in the season that you want to show me. Maybe there's a um, relationship that can be healed. Maybe there's, um, you know, 
just an opportunity to slow down and spend more time in prayer and um, just kind of increase your intimacy with God and your relationship with God. I don't know what it is, but I do know for sure that there's something that God has for each and every one of us through this season. And it's really tempting to say, this is not about me, this is happening, it's a pandemic, it's happening to everybody in the world. Well, it is about you. It is about you because God knew this was gonna happen in your life before it happens. And so he has a plan for it and he has a plan to grow you through it. And I would just encourage you to continue seeking that plan, spend some time in prayer and in Bible study and really trying to, you know, ask God to show you, what do you want from me now, Lord? What do you want from me in this? Because my hope is that you're gonna get to the other side of this and I'm gonna get to the other side of this and we will have you know, we'll be able to look back on the season and say, you know what, that was one of the best seasons of growth and discovery in my faith and in who I am as a person that I've ever had in my entire life. And it's exciting. It's scary for some of us. I know some of us have some real fears and I'm not dismissing that, but it is exciting too. And isn't it exciting that we have a God that continuously draws us towards him and is always willing to meet us where we are and show us you know how to move forward so until i'm able to make another video next time and i don't know how long these videos are going to be they might be five minutes they might be 20 minutes um i might make two videos i might make 50. i don't i honestly don't know i know i will make more um so i look forward to talking to you guys again and I will be praying for you. I love you all and cannot wait, like I said, to see you again. Bye-bye.